9 constant acceleration kinematics uh, this is the area branch of mechanics which we deal with the motion so we already discussed one chapter actually this is kinematics now uh, under this uh, we have to discuss displacement distance and velocity and other few key words so displacement is a vector quantity uh, which state the position of an object relative to the origin and the distance is scalar quantity there is no direction just a magnitude only which state how far object has traveled for example uh, assume a person is start from A and then come back to A again and then the displacement is zero zero and the distance the length he travel so maybe 105 kilometer let's say velocity a vector quantity velocity is a vector quantity direction and a magnitude which state how fast the object is moving and which uh, direction also you can tell that velocity is the rate of a change so this is the gradient uh, of uh, displacement time graph assume person is running from uh, O to A, assume he take uh, 20 uh, minutes uh, for this journey, so, so this is displacement and this is time graph, let's say this is one, uh, two kilometers. Uh, displacement is 2 so I draw the graph and this is going to be uh, 20 minutes so this is a one way I can draw okay now I'll discuss the other one rate of change the velocity is the rate of change rate of change mean gradient gradient of displacement time graph so we have displacement and time graph now and gradient so we can find the gradient now so this is 2 kilometer and this is 20 and 2 minus 20 sorry 2 so the coordinate is 22 and this is zero zero the gradient is uh, two minus zero twenty minus zero two over twenty that is one over ten so velocity of this uh, um, person o to a is one over ten kilometer per minute so it means velocity how fast the objective is moving and which direction yes so this direction it is going with 1 over 10 uh, kilometer uh, per minute now my question is what is the velocity of this point still 1 over 10 what is the velocity of this point still 1 over 10 with to this direction 1 over 10 to this direction 1 over 10 to this direction it's like uh, if you are driving a car you can see that its speedometer is let's say 60 you always keep uh, uh, 
this the speedometer to 60 and drive so indicator is at 60 so always 60 you can see that the gradient is a constant any place if you find the gradient do a right angle triangle and if you divide this distance and this distance 1 to 10 is this the way you always drive when you start when you start you bring into assume that you start from here and from here it is 60 and up to n you are making 60 this is the way you are making or sometimes if you are in a motorway sometimes road works there so they will tell that uh, go slowly then you go slowly and then you speed up now what is the gradient uh, what is the velocity now can i tell that uh, in this journey 1 over 10 1 over 10 now we can't tell that now velocity is changing point to point or the your gradient is changing point to point so if you want to find the velocity of this point so you have to draw a tangent line and then you want to find the gradient or if you want to follow a tangent line for this point then you want to find the velocity so in this situation the time to time this is changing but still you are making with 20 minutes so in this kind of situation so you know this is a uh, curve parabola and a minimum and usually they will give in terms of a equation s equal distance this distance and uh, so this is displacement uh, usually may write the simple term is s symbol is s so s equal t square plus 3t plus 8 so this is the equa quadratic equation and then you have to find differentiate first derivative and this is going to be 2t plus 3 then if you need to find when t equal 11 then you have to put t equal 11 and ds over dt at t equal 11 then you can find 2 times 11 plus 3 so likewise rate of change which is gradient of the displacement time graph if you want to get confused yourself think about instead of this road the road is going like this usually for the calculation we assume this is those are line roads you won't think what will happen like this uh, average velocity that is the displacement from the starting point divided by time taken and average speed is total distance travel from time taken so the previously we discussed we start from a we and we came back here 105 kilometers and uh, time taken that is 20 minutes uh, for this journey it can't be 20 minutes. let's say three hours journey now total distance 105 divided by 3 to find the average speed for this journey but the average velocity so the 
displacement from starting point is 0 and time taken is 3. So, average velocity is 0. Let's discuss example 1. Example 1. So, cyclic right from uh, O to E. 20 minutes. And she stay there 30 minutes. You can see time is go, uh, moving but the distance is still the same and then came back again now, this distance is 5 kilometer the distance is 5 kilometer now question one is work out the average velocity for each stage uh, the journey in kilometer per hour so o, o to a journey average uh, velocity so o to a average velocity is uh, the distance distance divided by time so from here to here it is going to be 5 kilometers divided by 20 minutes. So we need kilometer per hour, so I need to divide 60. Then uh, this is 5, 20, 60, it means 3, 15, 15 kilometer per hour. Then A to B. average velocity so displacement starting from 5 kilometer and still 5 kilometer after until 50 after 30 second it means displacement is 0 and divide by 30 minutes so make into 60 so 0 times uh, divided multiply by 60 answer is 0 kmh minus 1 and then come back again b to a so average velocity so we want to work separately displacement displacement mean it is a vector quantity it has a direction and a size size is 5 kilometers and the direction we took this is positive and if it's come the direction this kilometer is going to be minus so it is minus 5 divided by the same minus 5 to the time taken it is 15 50 to 65 so 15 minutes divided by 60 minus 5 or 50 times 60 so this is going to be minus 20 kmh minus 1 part b we need to find the and write down the average velocity for the whole journey so, so average velocity uh, then for the displacement for whole journey we will go back and come back here it means displacement is zero and the time taken is uh, 65 minutes to make it hours divided by 60 zero divided by 60 multiplied by 60 answer is 60 kmh minus 1 and part c work out the average speed average speed it means total speed sorry total distance divided by time taken the total distance is 
go five and come back five total ten five plus five divided by the time taken uh, sixty five minutes so divide by sixty so ten divided by sixty five multiply by sixty that is nine point two kilometer per hour. We'll discuss exercise nine now.